remembering that incident as a schoolboy. And he says, once on the brow of yonder hill, I stopped while I was yet a schoolboy. At what age I cannot well remember, but the hour I well remember, though the year be gone. And with a sudden influx overcome at sight of this seclusion, I forgot my haste, for hasty had my footsteps been as boyish my pursuit, and sighing said, what happy fortune were it here to live. The place from which I looked was soft and green, not giddy yet aerial, with a depth of vale below, a height of hills above. Long did I halt, I could have made it even my business and my errand so to halt. For rest of body twas a perfect place, all that luxurious nature could desire, but tempting to the spirit, who could look and not feel motions there? So they're saying it's a great place to spot to stop as we've done and rest, but also it's a place where it's impossible to be here and not feel some sort of emotion. And then he goes on to talk about the particular landscape, um, and he talks about how excited he is by by the shape of the landscape as this huge concave, and his ideal that this will be his home, this valley be my world. And then he talks about how that vision has has become internalised for him from that time forward. So from that, that boyish age forward, was the place to me as beautiful in thought as it had been when present to my bodily eyes. A haunt of my affections, oft times in joy a brighter joy, in sorrow, to that I have known little, in such gloom at least, such damp of the gay mind as stood to me in place of sorrow, was a gleam of light. And now tis mine for life. Dear Vale, one of thy lowly dwellings is my home. So there we've got a tremendous kind of narrative of boyhood vision, the nurturing of that vision, uh, and how it's, how it's cheered him in times of sorrow and also been uh, a, 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 like a light in times of gloom, and then how finally it's be, become um, his home. Uh, and once we've descended down to Grasmere, I'll read another passage from this poem, a brief passage in which he just talks about how his sense of how this is a place for him of perfect contentment.